test of the emergency alert system. This is a test of the new emergency alert system. Equipment that can quickly warn you during emergencies is being tested. WPST serves the central New Jersey area. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. Oh, I know those. PST weather Friday, sunny and cool today. I'm 55 to the high. Here cold tonight. Yeah, 35 tomorrow. Some early sunshine and clouds in the afternoon. We're 55 to the high. It's 52 now. You're in 51 at PST. Puerto Rico. Staying Alive series, Monday on The Early Show with Brian Gumbel and Jane Clayson. This is a test of the emergency alert system. Hello, Tiffany. What's up? Yeah, I know. Tiffany, wake up. 7,000 counts a day going to our body, all spring snow. 110,000 have been counted going past the Bonneville Dam. Oh. What's with some porn right now? Should I take, Bob? 
I need a TV. Family Guy. Far as Xenia is from here, I think Phil did I think he's wondering if we can do a thing. So what do I do to do? I don't know, Phil. I really want to do Swiss Dark. I need some Swiss Dark. I do HIO. So Xenia's too damn far. Where's your own? Xenia, but that's just too damn far. Who's in it? Too damn far. You gotta go. I'm not going to Xenia. I'm going to Xenia. I have a heart attack, Phil. I don't want to go, Phil. It's just too damn far. Let's go. What? Xenia? Where's that at? Ohio? Eh. I went to Xenia, Ohio, the other day, so what are you going to do? We have to get the camera. When this camera dies, again, I'm going to just upload the videos off the camera. That's it. Because this weekend. Oh, was this week or next week? Phil wants to do something. I don't know. All right, tornado warning for southeastern Greene County and K W K T R W K T R Norfolk, Virginia. <laughs> that logo looks so weird.
I was free actually a kid at the reading is to go back over to DC, so I'll try to get a bit. I don't know what channel it would be, but yeah. I do the test the right thing. Of the emergency alert system on news channel 3. Ha ha ha, this that's is a test of the emergency alert system. ABC7 Chicago, ABC7 Frisco. has worked like what twice since the last time the thing ever worked was when in Vegas the last time that thing ever actually used was in Vegas Canada Canada 2009 oh that's Canada I will record this is Canada that's Canada guys 2009 This is the Alberta Emergency Public Warning System. The following emergency bulletin may affect your area. Listen carefully. This is Brian Proctor, Severe Weather Meteorologist for Environment Canada. At 5.10 p.m., Crawford Radar is tracking a rotating severe thunderstorm near Creighton Valley that is moving east at 35 kilometers per hour. This danger storm is likely producing very large hail and may produce a thunder or tornado over the next 30 minutes in areas from Creighton Valley east to Carnwood. Persons in these areas should be prepared to take shelter immediately in a basement or reinforced structure if a tornado develops. Get low and put as many walls between you and the storm as possible. Stay away from windows, doors, and outside walls. If you are on the highway and cannot avoid tornadoes, seek shelter in a ditch or ravine. To repeat, a possible tornado is developing near Drayton Valley and is moving east at 35 kilometers per hour. Persons in and around Drayton Valley east to Carnwood should be prepared to find shelter immediately. This emergency warning message has been broadcast for your safety. If your area is affected, take all necessary precautions and listen to any local radio, television, or cable outlets for further updates. Do not use your telephone for the duration of this emergency. This with our tasty chocolate sensation sundae, or choice of fresh summer salad. I'm sure. I'm his mother. Carol, it's one night. If nothing happens, you better come up in the morning. Good mister. You said the unsub has abandonment issues. At Craig Raymond is leaving town, right? Yeah. Millions of Americans will witness history for the first time ever. 
The government will launch a nationwide test of the emergency alert system. It's designed to allow the President of the United States to address the country within 10 minutes from any location at any time. The system was not used on 9-11, which some critics say proves the U.S. is still living with an outdated warning system. So, if you're watching television or you're listening to the radio, uh, you are about to hear it. We're told it will last just 30 seconds. 1370. Yeah, that's like QVC, that's new. That's different. take on the severe spending cuts necessary to pull Greece out of its debt crisis. In other news, legendary Penn State football coach Joe Paterno says he will retire at the end of the season. This comes as his former assistant coach Sherry Sandusky is charged with several counts of child rape. Paterno released this statement. Here's what he says. He says, quote, this is a tragedy. It is one of the great sorrows of my life. With the benefit of hindsight, I wish I had done more. Well, coming up in less than 10 minutes here on CNN, we're going to hear from some current Penn State football players. Twenty twelve. See they get email. The National Weather Service in Morristown has issued a tornado warning for Anderson County, Knox County, Morgan County, Warren County at 9.45 p.m. At 9 p.m., National Weather Service Doppler radar indicated a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado five miles northwest of Kingston. Doppler radar showed this tornado moving east at 55 miles per hour. Locations in the warning include Oak Ridge, Clinton, Knoxville, Oliver Springs, Gilman, Conn, Powell, North, and Halls. In addition to the tornado, this storm is capable of producing golf ball sized hail with destructive straight line winds. The safest place to be during a tornado is in a basement. Get under a workbench or other piece of sturdy furniture. If no basement is available, no, that one video you saw, the yeah, one video was pretty good last night, saw the full video. I think it's still pretty cool though that they didn't, you know, I call that, I call that, I don't know, we call that partial, partial, yeah, partial western style. It's just kind of, yeah, but. County and is now moving up through Aurora with all the heavy rain that we've had this past week. And bear in mind, from the Stapleton area uh, it, down towards southeast Aurora. And again, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and, and delete that severe thunderstorm warning that was allowed to expire. So now we're just dealing with the flash flooding that is going on. And we do know a lot of folks were concerned about the uh, oh, sirens corn. going off at Aurora a little bit ago. City of Aurora tends to do that. They fire off the sirens. Uh, they have not reported any official tornadoes. The Weather Service never had a tornado warning out for Aurora. So again, it's the city of Aurora shooting off the sirens. Perhaps that was in response to the uh, flash flood warning. We're not sure. 
when there is a tornado warning, sirens go off. By law, there's a tornado warning, sirens have to go off in Michigan by law. That's my law in Michigan. Okay, 20, I'll stop. Huh. I'll stop. Mm -hmm. The National Weather Service in Louisville has issued a tornado warning for Central Franklin County in East Central Kentucky, Southern Scott County in East Central Kentucky, Northeastern Woodford County in East Central Kentucky until 7.35 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Mm -hmm. At 7 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located just north of Frankfurt, moving east at 45 miles per hour. Expected hazards include tornado and half dollar size hail. This is radar indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. Flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. This dangerous storm will be near Georgetown around 7.25 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Other locations in the warning include Watkinsville, Switzer, Woodlake, Stamping Ground, White Sulphur, Midway, Duval, Davistown, Ship and Zion Hill. Take cover now. Move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy 
building. Avoid windows. If in a mobile home, a vehicle, or outdoors, move to the closest Shoot. substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. A tornado warning has been issued for our area. Built to blow your imagination. That's glory round. Everyone could use a little relationship help, and in this new series, Spike Ferriston introduces deserving suitors to three available autos and helps them buy the car of their dreams. Yes! I have personally found you a lot of cars. You have changed my life. Car Matchmaker, next Tuesday at 9 on Esquire Network. A tornado watch is in effect. Currently in our area, 65 degrees with thunderstorms in the area. Thunderstorms early. A few storms may be severe. Low, 50. Chance of rain, 50%. Here's our seven-day outlook. tracking severe dangerous storms right now in Kentucky as well as Indiana. Let's start you off from the, in the, with the tornado watch that's currently in effect until 9 o'clock Eastern time for portions of West Virginia, a good chunk of northern and central Kentucky and over towards southern Indiana. And within that, we are seeing some rotation on radar. So we're going to start you off here in Bath and also Menifee and Montgomery counties. You're under a tornado warning until 7.30 Eastern time. There could be some half dollar size hail with these storms moving toward the it east at 25 miles per hour. Also, we head toward the west now. We've got central Franklin, southern Scott counties, and northeastern Woodward County under a tornado warning. That goes until 735 Eastern Time. Half dollar size hail. This moving toward the east at 45 Bourbon County. Watch out. Seek shelter. A tornado warning has been issued for our area. Storms showing some rotation on Doppler radar just to the east of Frankfort. You need to be seeking shelter here in parts of Scott and Woodward counties. Also, you can see the storm stretching all the way back. Even a severe thunderstorm warning in effect around the LaGrange area, where earlier we got hit by storms. We're talking about Oldham County till 7:20 Eastern here. time. Yeah, this is right on the northeast side right here. of Louisville, Kentucky. Watch out for some hail, possibly some damaging winds. And now just to the southwest of Indianapolis, we've got Monroe and Morgan counties under a severe thunderstorm warning till 7.15 Eastern time. This cell moving toward the southeast at 25 miles per hour. We're seeing some rotation on radar, and this is mainly over a rural area. But still, if you live just to the west of Martinsville, you need to be seeking shelter right now. And meteorologist Kim Cunningham joins me now to talk about this storm system that's going to be heading toward the east. The moisture coming in from the south, all that's going to come together, giving us a chance. Oh. Okay, and what is your name? As we head towards Monday, Tuesday. 
a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued for our area. We're yelling, you get a record high, and you get a record high, and that could be the case in places like uh, the Midwest and Chicago with a live look right now. It looks great, you're feeling good, temperatures climbing out of the 50s, and as you see a live look at Wrigley Field, home of your Cubbies, which are continuing their they're running the postseason, so that's good, and you're happy about that. I don't know if you're happy about this. Uh, I think so many of us are kind of ready and done with summer, ready to move on to, to fall, but the weather's not letting you at all. Look at this. Average high in Chicago this time of year is 63. Average low is 43. I think that might be one of the most impressive aspects to all of this warmth that we're talking about. 43, the average low. Look at the forecast lows, Chicago. That 70 uh, could be easily breaking a record warm low for the date, which at that point is 65.